A lot of students and researchers ask me about one simple thing, how to get started with ROS. The point here is, you understand the basic through ROS wiki and with the help of my tutorials, the next thing is selecting the robot for your studies, for your research, for your projects. There are three main types of robots in this world. Flying robots, ground robots, and robotic arms. Mobile robots, drones, and robotic arms. These three are the main categories. They are then further divided and then further, further divided. From all of these three categories, we are going to be looking at the most common robot type that is Turtle Bot 3. And this is this ground vehicle. I think there is Turtle Bot 4 now also available. And you can start your project understanding and all of those things related to mobile robots on this specific robot. And uh, it is really, really interesting. They provide a proper e-manual for it. Turtle Bot 3 Robotis e-manual. And if you go into the simulation tag here, you can go to gazebo simulation. You need to clone this. If I copy it and open up a new terminal, open this GitHub link, it contains the simulation required things. Point here is, I just want to tell you some basic things about uh, different packages. When you ever see this branch, minus B branch, if you go into this GitHub page, you might see multiple branches. So there, these are different branches for different versions of ROS. Dashing is another version of ROS. Eloquent is ROS2 version. Dashing is also ROS2 version, I think. Foxy is ROS2, obviously. Galactic is ROS2. Humble is the newest one. Kinetic and Melodic are ROS1. So these branches are for your understanding that if you are using any of this, utilize this specific branch. In our case, we have Noitic. So we can select Noitic or we can directly git clone B and robotics turtle bot 3 simulation. I'm not going to follow this right now, but this is one robot. The next repository that we have to look for is uh, my own repository, Ross Ultimate Guide to Robotic Arms. I think this was the name. Um, this is my course repository, but it is really really easy for you to set up your robotic arm seven degrees of freedom this franca emika robotic arm for ross nitic and a lot of different things are also provided you can follow this github repository it's totally free to use that's why i'm showing you uh, and the next uh, one here is uh, from rafalo mao i think this is the name yes hector quadrotor nitic uh, repository package this guy uh, Rafala Mao is a great guy who ported Hector Quadrotor package to ROS Nitic previously it was provided us for ROS Kinetic which is a very old version of ROS one so this guy did a great job for converting it for the last version of ROS what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the source folder and I'm going to get all of these three packages into my workspace. I have already downloaded them. I'm going to put them in my source folder and perform catkin make inside of it. There are going to be multiple errors, but that's what I just want to show you. Because setting up the robots is one of the essential thing and they might show you some errors and you have to understand them and you should know how to solve them so it says that this specific package franca hardware is not available what i am going to do sudo apt get install ros version of my ros installation noitic franca double press tab and it provides me all of these so i'm going to use all of these for installation because i want franca amica whole solution into my system it's 70 mb all of these packages controllers and all that stuff because i am going to be using that the next is going to be something else once it's installed i will run it again the thing is you don't need to reinvent the wheel and make your robot from scratch although when working with multiple clients and companies i had to build the robot from scratch from their 3d models from the base urdf creations acro creation i will teach all of that to you but 
for the starting point you don't need to dig that deep down and make your own robots although the same platforms with proper inertial values are provided to you so you don't need to do it again and again just start testing your algorithms and learn important things algorithms like path planning and motion planning on these things once the installation is done for the required packages you perform the cat can make again and make sure you are doing that in your workspace there are other things that are going to be required before it completes 100% uh, geometric messages for hector quad rotor is required And that seems to be done but for some of you you would be needing this command ROS Nitec Geo Geographical Messages this package is required for Hector Quad Rotor Drone I don't know why it is not required this time and it's still compiled so in my scenario I have Hector Quad Rotor Turtle Bot Simulation if I go into Turtle Bot Simulation and uh, the e manual yes it says perform cat can make import this turtle bot in your terminal and perform the empty world launch this is going to open up the gazebo turtle bot inside of it let me disable the shadows and here is my mobile robot i can place a lot of things here by just simply bringing in all of these things and I can test my algorithms first I would get a lot of information about this node command velocity joint states IMU odom I can directly say ROS topic publish on command velocity geometric message and the message type this one angular velocity and one linear velocity so it can start rotating in the circle at a very high speed you can see it's almost drifting that's the command that I have given so you can play around with it you can drive your robot you can send a lot of publisher subscriber values so that was for our mobile robot we imported the name and the model of mobile robot and we brought up the simulation of empty world the next robot of our interest is drone let's see how does it works first let's close the simulation there is a lot of documentation available for this specific thing if I go to Rafalamau and I see the usage it says you can directly run this command I am going to close this terminal and I have to wait for the gazebo to completely shut down otherwise things can go bad because a lot of plugins are loaded a lot of parameters are loaded that might get conflicted with my drone so I'll wait now it's done I'm going to run the command it says it is going to bring the Hector Quad Rotor drone with all the controllers in the empty world and you can see our drone is there I have to open another terminal run the following for one drone flight gazebo run the following outdoor I don't need that true drone inside you can control with uh, teleop this thing teleop twist keyboard I have that uh, I think I just need this command to be executed if it is uh, installed it is installed so take off I press take off it is not working forward left right up down left right it is not working I don't know why it is not working for that I would do one simple thing ROS ROS topic list uh, where is command velocity command velocity is almost the thing that drives your robot ROS topic info command velocity and it says Hector QGUI is publishing but I don't know why things are not working there might be some instructions given it says land and take off button don't work so what this guy did so I think the button that this command is requiring is hover okay now I get it you have to press up and press hover to stop it and then it starts to hover 
left right down and all of that stuff hover makes it keep flying so you can dig down this thing and command velocities to understand how things are working the last robotic type is robotic arms and they are really useful a lot of people do research on them i would suggest other softwares as well let me show you robotics toolbox and for python specifically this is developed by peter cock and it provides lightweight simulation for your robotic arms and a lot of information about mathematical aspects and research basis what you can do as i have provided this repository you can download it understand it it might show you some error you can solve it and all of these working examples are there the other popular robotic arm is panda robotic arm ross move it move it is also a very interesting platform or framework for your robotic arm projects and understanding specifically in ROS there are a lot of packages available you can dig down in this move it robots and understand multiple things out of it that's it from my side i hope you are now going to get started with your research or your projects or your interest in robotics if you have any question you can ask me i will not be pushing this into my repository about the packages i will just be providing you the links in the readme file so if you have any questions how they are working you can directly ask me in the issues of this repository take care